Fellow South Africans, as we celebrate the dawn of a new year, we look back on 2018 as a year that marked a new beginning in our shared effort to build a better South Africa. It was a year in which our nation drew closer together as we celebrated the centenary of the birth of our founding president, Nelson Mandela, and the stalwart of our struggle, Mama Albertina Sisulu. As we celebrated these remarkable champions of freedom, we reaffirmed our commitment to the values they embodied and the principles for which they fought and lived, equality, dignity, and integrity. During the course of 2018, we bade farewell to several eminent South Africans who had served their people with distinction and commitment and who had dedicated their talents and their lives, as well as their energies, to building a better South Africa and a better world. We shall miss them and continue to remember and honor them. This has been a year of renewal. It has been a year in which we worked together to restore confidence in our public institutions and to confront the devastating effects of state capture and corruption, both in government and in the business world. This has been a year in which we have focused on the one thing our country needs most, jobs, jobs and more jobs. We convened a job summit to develop new pathways into work for millions of South Africans and provide young people with the skills and the experience they need to thrive in the workplaces of today and tomorrow. We have embarked on a massive investment drive to place our economy on a new path of inclusive growth. We are encouraged by the many investors, both South African as well as international, who have shown keen interest in investing in our economy. As the new year begins, millions of South African workers will benefit from the introduction of the country's first national minimum wage. This is the result of many decades of tireless struggle and is a powerful demonstration of the shared resolve of all social partners to tackle poverty and inequality. In 2019, we will be called upon to work with greater focus and determination to confront our problems and create new opportunities for all South Africans. We will need a huge national effort to build on the progress made this year in restoring our country to a path of growth and progress. We will need to take extraordinary measures and work together to take some difficult decisions given the challenges that lie ahead. As we work to build a strong and resilient economy, we must also confront severe social ills such as gender-based violence and crime. Gender-based violence is a national emergency which requires a firm, coordinated response in which all South Africans have a role to play. Fellow South Africans, in 2019, we will celebrate 25 years of freedom and democracy. We will also hold our sixth democratic general election. It will be an opportunity for a new generation of young South Africans to exercise the right to vote and determine their own future. We urge all our people, particularly the youth, to register to vote and to exercise their responsibility as patriotic citizens of our great nation. In 2019, we must raise our hands, each one of us, in the spirit of Tumamina, to participate actively in the transformation of 
our country. Each one of us has the ability to make a meaningful difference. Having welcomed the new dawn at the beginning of this year, we can be certain that the sun is indeed rising even higher in the South African sky. It is our shared responsibility to ensure that all our people bask in its warmth. To the metric class of 2018, South Africa thanks you for the hard work, the discipline, and the diligence you maintained throughout your years of school. We congratulate each and every successful candidate and their families, their teachers as well, and the communities that made them succeed. We can only take care of the future if we take care of ourselves. And so I call on all South Africans to make this celebration of the new year and the remaining days of our festive period a safe and happy occasion. In our homes, on our roads, in our taverns, in our restaurants and malls, let us give one another the gifts of tolerance, patience, safety and respect. I wish you and yours a successful and peaceful 2019. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you.